Oh, poops. I'm out shooting. I know, it's a shocker, isn't it? Me screaming Delkim's hat on. <laughs> it's the only, st I'm on a, on a stubble field. But, uh, Ten Enforcers decoys out. Available from DJ decoys and an FF5 flapper. FF6 and other stuff available from Flightline decoys. So go and have a look at them if you want. Um, yeah, so this is the only stubble field I've got now. A couple of the other farmers got a bit, uh, well, after the crow thing, it was like, oh, well, you can't be ours coming shooting the crows, you're not shooting the pigeons. All right, shoot your own fucking foxes then. <laughs> Seems to have a change of heart come lambing season, eh? Anyway, I'm not going to whinge. That'll make a change, won't it? Just put me coat down. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, I'm filming this intro after I've already shot a couple, but don't tell anyone. Because I didn't have a flapper out at first. <laughs> anyway, keep watching, you'll see them. Well, ish. Ish. Yeah, this is the only stubble field I've got. They've just dragged it and covered it in muck. It was cut the other day. Cut and bailed. I did come up. I come up on Saturday and um, had a couple of hours over on the far side there, but it was just so hot. Um, I got here at like 8 in the morning and by about 10, it was too hot. Uh, I had uh, Pip and Spot with me then. And it was just it's too hot for the dogs then, so I think we've got one, yeah, we've got one pigeon. I'll put that clip in in a bit. But, uh, yeah, I got one pigeon the other day and just went home, it was just so hot. Anyway, got uh, old Jem with us. Hey, you doing, Jem? Huh? He says. Deaf as a post, the poor old bugger. Anyway. She's 14 last month, Jem was. 14 and she's still out pigeon shooting. Mind you, she is getting, uh, she is getting knackered. She's sort of more or less fully retired, but what can you do? You can't just ignore them and leave them in the house all the time. <laughs> if I bring the others out, it's not, uh, you know. So I decided, well, this is me 200th upload. So I thought, well, it only fitting that Jem comes with me if I do me 200th upload. Considering she was in the first one, so uh, yeah, so that well, poor old girl. You don't know how long you got them for, do you? You know what I mean. But be a sad day when old Jem goes, I tell you. Oh. But hey ho, she's all right at the moment. It's a bit deaf. Her eyes are getting a bit a bit cloudy, but she still uh, <laughs> she still tries to be as keen as mustard. Still tries to run around like a nut job. Although it does knacker her out for a couple of days. If she's been out, you know, like she's been and retrieved a couple of pigeons now, and uh, <laughs> actually, no, tell a lie, she's been and retrieved one. Um, I had to get the other one out of the tree. But anyway, with her just running up and down the field a few yards, she come back, she's blowing out of her ass, and she'd be aching like mad for a couple of days. So little and often for her, but. That's what she does, isn't it? Anyway. Right, well, keep watching. You will see a couple of pigeons. And a little video of our lack of corvids. Like the 500 of them flying past. Because, obviously, um, we had an expert on the other day. Um, Jonathan something or other. Yeah. I can't remember his second name, it's pretty irrelevant if I'm honest. But uh, he's a keen angler, so it makes him, uh, and he watches Country File and Vic and, not Vic and Bob, fucking White House and Mortimer goes fishing, so, you know. Uh, hey. But, uh, bit of Country File, bit of uh, Spring Watch, fucking experts, aren't they? <laughs> anyway.
So apparently, yeah, we're, uh, the COVID population in Wales is declining and they need protecting. Try leaving the fucking house, mate, and looking in the sky. <laughs> and go around telling the Welsh farmers <laughs> that the crows are going, population's going down. They might be going down in certain areas, but they're certainly not here. So, unless you live in the area, mind your own fucking business. Anyway, I had a bit of back and two banter with him and he forgot, he actually forgot that this channel is my channel and it's not a democracy, it's a fucking dictatorship and freedom of speech is only for me and mm, a couple of, a select few, you know what I mean? But, uh, so I got fucked off with him and <laughs> got rid of the twat. But, uh, I think you can still watch. Hello, Jonathan! Yeah, in your basement, with your fucking poodle. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, fuck them. Fucking towny fucking experts. But anyway. So just remember when you come into the comments and you start giving it all. I don't mind a debate. I'll quite happily debate with anyone. As, uh, you know, quite happily. Well, they'll start telling me I'm fucking uneducated and I don't know this and I don't know that. Because I'll just tell you to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hopefully Jonathan's unsubscribed and fucked off and gone onto a, a fluffy kitten and poodle channel where he can uh, toss himself off in his mum's basement at pictures of poodles and kittens. He, uh, and then go and fish his polluted fucking canal in some shitty little town somewhere, leaving bits of line and litter around. <laughs> anyway, fuck him. Right. Oh, I've been waffling for nearly, well, over seven minutes already. I do that, don't I? It's only because, only because all the pigeons are fucked off now. Because, you know, plenty of crows up and down over there. But hey, we can't shoot the crows because there's not enough of them. <laughs> yeah, I think people uh, don't, don't realise that if you got, if you get a thousand crows on a ten-acre field, they do a lot of damage. Now, even if the food, uh, the crop, goes for cattle feed, a thousand crows that are sitting there all through, the, while the crop's standing, sort of thing, they're going to do a lot. They're going to eat a half a lot of corn. So, and that reduces the yield, which reduces the input to the food chain, which just. So that's a knock-on effect, doesn't it? Half these fuckers would soon complain if there wasn't enough barley to go into the beer, wouldn't they? <laughs> or, or your bread from the wheat's costing you a fucking five or a loaf. Well, hey-ho, no such thing as a food shortage when you're like me. You've got a freezer full of dead stuff. <laughs> This fucking pigeon coming to come and have us say hello. Swat, he landed in the tree there. There's another one in front. Come on, turn across, turn across, turn across. Oh, missed that one. Anyway, right, enough. <laughs> See you in a bit. Covid shortage in Wales. <laughs> of course there is. I mean, there's pigeons in there as well, but hey, yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get them shots on camera. <laughs> Got a right and left, one down behind me, one in front. 
And as you can see, we've got old Jen with us. He's a good old girl. <laughs> He's a good old girl. Alright. Young pigeon. Now full of feathers for the old Jembo. Yeah, I've got one landed in the tree behind me. Second one was a very young pigeon. Oh, you bastard. One snuck in from behind me. Let's try and get that one out of the tree now for me flapper. He's fucking down. I knew he would. I knew I hit him hard with the first shot. He's gone down in the next field. <sighs> we got a bit of a walk on, Jeb. <laughs> yeah, hit him quite hard with the first shot. I saw him rattle. I don't know if I saw it on, saw it on, uh, on camera. Well, Come in really nice, he did then. Lovely stuff. Although, should have killed him outright with the first shot, but hey ho. Shit shot itis and all that. Although, I killed the first two quite quick. It was uh, no messing with them ones, but that last one there, he'd come down about 150 yards away. <laughs> you can see him struggling as he left the field. He was struggling, he was sort of. Those who have been pigeon shooting and you sort of hit one in the lungs. They, uh, they sort of wobble as they're flying and all of a sudden, boof, down he went. <laughs> Nailed. I'll pick him up later. just off camera Twat. <laughs> good girl come on in old girl hey come on old girl <laughs> oh Jem's still doing the job oh, she's a good old girl have a drink have a drink yes <sighs> Fall down. Shocking stuff. Yeah, I don't know if we got that one on camera. Put the camera up a little bit higher. Yeah. Hey, it's all good fun, isn't it? <laughs> That's a bit long, an old girl. <laughs> the old bugger, she's uh, struggling to see that. <laughs> oh, oh, fair dues to her. Fair dues. Come on. <laughs> There's no point me shouting, she can't fucking hear me. <laughs> he swept in round the around the tree here there was two of me swept in just around that tree there and come out into the open just enough for me to get a shot off I'm fair there was the old girl well she's got fucking lost now I better go find her <laughs> we're up here Jen we're up here come on <laughs> come on <laughs>
Poor old bugger didn't know where she was going. <laughs> Hey, poor old sod, isn't she? Old geriatric spaniel. <laughs> Good girl. She says, I have no idea what you're saying. I can see your fucking mouth moving. Anyway. That's five on the deck. He took me by surprise, that one. Just clipped in. Literally just clipped the fucker. That old Jeb's gone for a wrestle. <laughs> Another one. Dirty hellfire. Yeah, look at her running back, look. <laughs> Good old Jeb. You can have a fucking heart attack in a minute, you old git. No, <laughs> oh, she's a good girl. Come on then. <laughs> she loves it, this dog. Absolutely loves it. Don't you? Yeah. I think we've got one pellet through his wing then. He just come in from the left, just snuck in on me. I was watching two others. <clears throat> and uh, he just swept in from the left. Luckily, I had hold of my gun. I managed to pick him off. Hey ho, what's that now? One, two, three, four, six down. Hey, <laughs> getting a little bit of a video. It'll never be a big bag on here. But it's something, isn't it? It's something. <laughs> Missed. Oh, no, girl, you go. Oh dear. Missing a couple as well. <laughs> now well. Can't hit them all. Well I can't anyway. I used to hit them a lot more. <laughs> I used to hit a lot more than that, but hey. It's hard to ignore the draw of the flapper. Flush! It's in the pattern, dog. <laughs> <coughs> he was flitting around the field then and he saw the flapper and the dicks and he just comes swinging in. Lovely. And I hit him. Yay! <laughs> Only he's lying on his back. So, come on, go find him. Go find him. Go find him. Go on. I know you can't hear me, I don't want to fucking talk. Got your hand signals as well. She sniffed it, looked at me, and said, Is this the one here? <laughs> Good girl, go on in. <laughs> you're a funny old bugger, aren't you? Good girl. 
get yourself a drink. There's loads of water there, please. Another one. Holy shit balls. Getting a shooting video. <laughs> Pigeons aren't tame here like they are down south. <laughs> Give him two, he was going to wander off that one. He was going to go up the tree. Hey, hey, old Jumbo. Oh, look, an endangered species. You're lucky there, you fucker. <laughs> Have you been in England? I'd have shot you. Okay. Thanks. Good dog. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Look at that fucking thing. <laughs> More pigeons coming from the right. Leave the camera running just in case. I can guarantee if I turn it off, fucker will come in. If I don't turn it off, it won't. Oh, he's a fucking dead one. Come round the back. Another one bites the dust, but he's behind me, so. <coughs> I wish you'd have seen that, it was a cracking shot. They always are, aren't they, when they've not got the camera running. Is that a fucking stock dove? Yep. Stocky dove. No, I'd shoot them either. It's off stock dove. <laughs> I'm just going to go pick this other pigeon in a minute, I think. Oh, is that a pigeon coming down the field? Oh, he was, but he changed his mind. Oh, he's going down. <laughs> hey, he's down, right and left. Jem, wrong one, go and get the other one first. Go and get that one over there, good girl. He didn't get any of them. <laughs> Tired, aren't you, old girl? Hey, eh? no, so shitter. Oh, well, we shall uh, go and pick them two up. Right, uh, Eleven birds down. Hey, I'm not going to be able to pick that one up in the field over there. To the right, there's a fucking buzzard eating it. <laughs> anyway. That's the benefits of using steel, I suppose. The buzzard can get a free dinner out of it. Nice. Pick these birds. All right, folks, that's going to be it. It's only a short session, but uh, about 11 birds picked 10, so that's not bad. And uh, it's. Well, by the time I've packed up here now, it'll be three o'clock. So, uh, I set up at one, so quite happy with that. Old Gem's had a bit of, bit of work. We've had a few pigeons, so we'll get them processed later and uh, 
throw them at Slash and see what she can cook with them. <laughs> I'm sure she's got some uh, some ideas. More ideas than I've got. But anyway, so this is my 200th upload. I think I said that earlier, didn't I? But at least we've got a few pigeons on the 200th. And uh, the pigeon sneaking in from the right then. I thought, well, only fit into that. Have a bit of a shooting video on the uh, <coughs> for the 200th one. So, if you've got this far watching, thanks very much. And just thank everyone for supporting the channel over the years. I mean, it's still only a small channel, I'm just over 1400 subscribers. It took me years to get to 1400, fucking you know. hell. But hey ho, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing it to try to make any money, I'm doing it for, doing it for a bit of fun really, for myself in the original. So, uh, also, yeah, so thanks for everyone that's stuck, stuck by it. I think it was up to 1402 earlier on so but when uh, usually when I upload a video a few people will get a notification oh god am I still subscribed to that crap and then they unsubscribe <laughs> it happens every single time I put a video out well hey ho it's what it is it is what it is isn't it but uh, yeah so all those that have sort of stuck with it and uh, keep watching and commenting and giving us the thumbs up and whatnot thank you very much Jem says thanks as well, but she didn't really. She just, yeah, she would if she could. <laughs> She's had a cracking time. That last two, then I got um, killed one over the pattern and then winged one as it, and it dropped over there. Just picked them two up. And uh, <laughs> there's a bit of a run for her. She's, she spotted it flapping and went and got it. I, act, I actually expected it to take off and land in the trees, but uh, it didn't. So yeah, she's had a good time. I've had a good time. I hope you've had a good time too. Probably not. Video's too fucking long, aren't they? <laughs> <coughs> you seem to notice that uh, the longer the video, people only tend to watch for eight or nine minutes and then they get bored. So uh, I should start doing shorter videos. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? <laughs> There's a there's a fishing channel. I'm not going to name it, but uh, the, this guy, the name of it, um, you'd expect it to be some like some sort of epic. It's like, yeah. and, oh, 24 hours on Chesil Beach, and he managed to fucking cram it into about three and a half minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I just carry on waffling, don't I? That's the trouble. They waffle. I have to wear these. Uh, I keep spotting that. I have to wear this. I've got this issue with me inner ear. And if I fire my gun without it, oh, you okay, know, knocks me bloody head wobbly for two days. Far too many years of uh, loud bangs. I'm not wearing ear defenders. So wear ear defenders, Pope people. If you want. <laughs> but yeah, it does, uh, it definitely has an effect over the years. Anyway, right, I'm going to go. I think I've done all my thank yous. A lot of people, uh, yeah, a lot of people there, they always comment, you know, you all know who you are. They all comment and hopefully give us a thumbs up. Doesn't matter if you give us a thumbs down now because nobody can see it. So, but yeah. Give us a thumbs up, get the uh, the YouTube algorithm going and shows the video to more people apparently. <laughs> because, well, I've not been uploading much so obviously the channel views have gone right down. But hey ho, it is what it is. I've been struggling to get out this year so anyway, right, I'm going to shut me gob and we're going to go. I'm going to pack up. I'm probably not going to shoot anything else, so you're not going to see anything else. This will be the last bit, I'm sure. <laughs>
I was actually expecting to shoot a pigeon while I'm waffling because I normally do. I normally get a shot done when I'm waffling at the end. But not this time. <laughs> There's a pair of ducks over there. We'll see them in a couple of weeks. <laughs> anyway. Sorted. Right. I'm off. Catch you later, peeps.